I wonder how many health codes were broken to make this fine meal. Aren't you guys even going to give thanks for your meal? Or at the very least, pray that you'll live through it. Lord, as we look upon this bounty that you have so graciously provided, we thank you. Oh, how we thank you for this food, Lord. Food that's on the table. Please help it to make us healthy, Lord. I said help it to make us strong, Lord. And all God's people said. Amen. Great. Food undercooked. Blessing overdone. Me, out of here. What's up there, lunch buddy? It seems you overlooked our lunch buddy date. Yeah, uh, sorry. Must have slipped my mind. Well, dig in, fellas. That blessing was good for the whole table. And your name is? Since the name and... Adventures the Game, boy. Well, when you put it like that, it sounds kind of lame. So, Lenny, I thought we could do a little food swapping or something, you know? A little lunch buddy bonding. Woo! Lip burger on rye? Again? Hooey! That's enough for me. Whoa. Say, before you go, you wouldn't happen to have a breath mint or something, would you? Because one bite of this and my breath might make your toes curl. You know what I mean? Just the sight of you makes my toes curl. <laughs> so, what are you doing sitting at my table, Lenny? Well, I, I um, um... Your table? This table is property of McKinley Middle School, and quite frankly, I- Cutting you slack today because you're new here. But you don't have any excuse for not giving your table up to a lady. Especially a lady like <laughs> me. Hey, Lenny don't have to take your abuse. Right, Lenny? Stop talking. No, it's cool. You and your crew are gonna start treating my man Lenny with some respect. Please stop talking. Oh, yeah? You heard me. Things are gonna change. Right here? Right now. Is that a fact, Butterfly Boy? Well, maybe you and I need to settle this after school on the basketball court. Say, three o'clock. Uh, uh, after school? Ooh, three o'clock by the hoops after school. Oh, I can't wait. Oh, and don't forget to bring your butterfly collection. M -m my butterfly collection? Why? So I can make you a part of it. <laughs> Oh, giddy. Ooh, come on, three o'clock. She don't even know. Why are you still talking? I asked you to please stop talking. That's good, Lenny. You got your game face on. But save some of that heat for the big showdown. Sid? No, don't worry. Sid's got your back. That's what friends are for. What friends are for? Yeah. What are friends for? Hanging with my buddy. Just getting in my way What are friends for? Cutting up and getting nutty Messing up a perfect day I know they should milk, sharing lunch a lot there. A little peace and quiet, that's all I'm after What are friends for? Come on! You know it got your back when your plans get rocky Life would be a dream could just stop talking What are friends for? Good times galore What are friends for? I can't take it anymore What are friends for? I don't want your help It's your looking out for me that got me into all this trouble in the first place Now Lenny, I hear you I see where you're coming from No, you don't hear me In fact, you haven't been listening at all, Sid We got nothing in common Zilch! Zero! Nada! But, but Lenny! I thought we were comrades! You know... Friends. I heard what happened at lunch. Are you okay? Oh. Yeah, I was just having a little talk with God. 
about turning you into a superhero? Couldn't hurt. Don't let that bully Hilda scare you. Those three, they're all talk. They just like you to believe they're gonna do something. Well, they certainly made a believer out of me. I'm 100% convinced. Why do you think I'm in here praying? You wanna know what I think? No matter what happens, I just know that things will work out. The Lenny Harris that I know is smart and pretty much always makes the right choices. Just in case you don't, take this. It's my panic whistle. Just in case. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I haven't got all day. Well, it's about time. <sighs> He's got to get pulverized. I've got a 3.30 beating to administer. So let's make this quick and painful, butterfly brain. Well, actually, Hilda, I was hoping we could discuss this in a civilized manner. You know, work out our differences like two uniquely different individuals, um, who have a lot of respect and admiration for each other's uh, diverse and uh, distinctly different, um, differences? You think? Maybe? I don't think so. <gasps> Not so fast. <gasps> Hilda, why is it you and your terrible twosome gotta make it so hard for everybody here at McKinley? We're just trying to get through this year with some fun, good friendships, and some vague idea of what that mystery meat is in the cafeteria. But you gotta go and ruin everything. Don't move. <laughs> First of all, I don't like Lenny because he's a smarty pants know-it-all geek who wastes his time daydreaming and chasing bugs. Second of all, I don't like you because you're a pesky pipsqueak with a big mouth. Hilda, God created all kinds of different people all over the world and all over the school. It's like a double cheeseburger. You gotta have the bread, the meat, the cheese, the pickles, the mustard. Everything together makes up a delicious one-of-a-kind burger. That's life. So you, you, and you need to stop sweating Lenny Harris with all this negativity. Oh, yeah? You and what army are gonna stop me? Me and these guys right here. Uh-oh. <laughs> let, let, let's reschedule. My people call your people. We'll chat over a plate of curly fries. Cool? <laughs> Not cool. We'll discuss it now over a knuckle sandwich. Prayers. Hilda Van Heusen! It is after school hours and I see loitering. Should I see loitering after school hours, Miss Van Heusen? No, Mr. Bixby. Uh, I was, uh, I mean, we were uh, just um, welcome to sit here to McKinley and making sure, uh, you know, that he was finding his yeah, way around yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hilda, you and your welcoming committee are excused. Good day. Yes, Mr. Bixby. This ain't over. Okay, you have a nice day too, Hilda. Let's do this again real soon. I told you everything would work out all right. Sid, I can't believe you stood up to Hilda like that. Why would you do that for me? Cause I know what it's like to be the last one picked and the first one to get picked on. Sid, you're too short. Sid, you're too loud. Sid, you're so poor you can't even pay attention. I heard them all. So, uh, they finally ran you out of town and you moved here? Tommy! No, it's cool. I just decided no matter what, I want to be a part of helping to build a bigger, better burger in the community. Uh. 